What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and there's just never any good news. I mean, there's good news, um, but it's like a a, 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 a chocolate-covered piece of garbage uh, after you bite into it. Because for fans of Superman, uh, a fandom that is mighty, strong, and uh, in some of the greatest numbers, maybe outside of Spider-Man, and maybe even bigger than Spider-Man. It's the, it pr probably would be bigger than Spider-Man if anyone gave a damn about the character anymore. Uh, if anyone, you know, cared about preserving one of the most beloved superheroes of all time and less about, like, cramming uh, a million new boring superheroes with half the abilities of Superman and none of the character depth. But, uh, yeah, my checkboxes. Uh, I, I firmly believe that 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 Superman has been backburnered for a lot of reasons. Hey, and before I get too far into this, I know this video will probably be too spicy for the old uh, family-friendly folks at YouTube. I'm really glad to have a sponsor for this video and it's Private Internet Access. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Private Internet Access. In current year, basically everyone should be using a VPN. What is a VPN? Well, it stands for a virtual private network. With private internet access, all of your traffic goes through a secure VPN tunnel, your IP address is hidden, and your data is encrypted. Private internet access is available for all platforms, Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS, and many others. They have a strict no logs policy. You can use one subscription to protect up to 10 devices at a time. There's a 30 day money back guarantee and private internet access has given me their best deal ever. Just $2 and eight cents a month plus two months free, which is 83% off. And reviewers love private internet access. CNET rated it as quote spectacular and it got PC makes editor's choice award for the past five years. You can access geo restricted content from websites, YouTube included social media networks, find better deals online, play games blocked in your region and protect your identity by keeping your data encrypted. Pick up this awesome offer available just to my subscribers. It's located in the pinned comment below as well as the description. Start protecting yourself today. So after you watch this video, sign up for private internet access, get your computer protected. So as I was saying, um, we have, who is in my opinion, an excellent Superman, Henry Cavill, just off doing literally everything else in the world um, and succeeding. Look, I'm a fan of The Witcher. I like the dude. He's genuine, seems super nice. Um, and I like him as Superman. Uh, I know some people don't, and, and I understand, but I think overall, overall he plays a pretty good Superman. Uh, he's definitely got the look and the build for it. Um, and we get a new Superman movie announced today, which is going to be headed by... J.J. Abrams, of course, um, because, you know, for every one in a hundred good films he does, you know, he he just destroys the other 99, but somehow he just keeps getting more movies. Um, and the Abrams part alone is concerning enough, but when you go beneath the surface and you see who's actually writing it, it's one of the most vile uh, uh, people with some of the, a person with some of the most vile opinions I've ever read, uh, a person that went after uh, first responders on 9/11, um, uh, a guy that thinks uh, everything's white supremacy. So of course, perfectly, you know, perfect guy to uh, to write the film for, like literally the whitest superhero in history. Uh, you see even Jack Murphy here saying Superman is about to be ended. The whitest white man of all with all the superpowers of the universe in the hands now of Mr. Coates, who believes white power is the source of all black suffering. Yep, Superman is over or worse, neutered. I mean, I mean that's, and, and you see this, you know, deadline report, Superman reboot in the works at Warner Brothers with Ta-Nehisi Coates writing 
and J.J. Abrams producing. Now, a lot of people aren't familiar with this writer, and I'm going to make you very familiar with this writer. Um, there's also a strong rumor that they're going to cast Michael B. Jordan to be Superman and not Henry Cavill, uh, based on some speculation. Uh, here you see, you know, Cosmic Book News saying Abrams will go with a black Superman. It could be Michael B. Jordan. Um, guess just a guess on my part, but I'm guessing that Abrams' choice for the new Man of Steel will be a black Superman, possibly played by Michael jo B. Jordan. Now, this has been a name that's been floated around forever to place Superman, and um, yeah, I like Michael B. Jordan. Nothing against him, um, and and you know that's fine. Uh, it would be totally on par for uh, every modern day superhero film. The writing seems to be on the wall for Black Superman as announcement comes during Black History Month from a site that only reports on news of people of African descent with African writer Ta Nahisi Coates on board to write the film. No director announced and apparently it isn't Abrams as he said he would be producing. So I'm guessing the WB and DC will also go with a black director. Worth a mention is that the new Superman and Lois series also introduced Black Lex Luthor during Black History Month. And Marvel likes to announce their Black Panther movie during February. Black Panther was released during February. In Deadline's article about the news of the Superman reboot, it seemed they made a point of mentioning that Michael B. Jordan is working with Ta Nahisi Coates along with Black Panther writer Ryan Coogler. So again, the writing seems to be on the wall for a Black Superman. Jordan is also involved with properties at DC as he's producing the Static Shock movie. Of course, with Superman seemingly getting race swapped, the question is going to come up, will it be an SJW version? Well, as we all know, Hollywood likes to replace characters and promote its certain agendas. So I suppose the good news is that Abram and Coates might be going with a multiverse version of Superman, which could mean Henry Cavill could stick around as Superman in Shazam, Black Adam, uh, etc. The Black Lex Luthor also looks to be a multi-version unrelated to the Superman reboot as far as we know. Further quote-unquote good news could also come from Michael B. Jordan who previously made it clear that if he did play Superman he wouldn't want to play the original version Kal-El but possibly the black Superman from the comic books Calvin Ellis who actually goes on to become the president of the United States. There is comic book lore for a black Superman. It's not like one of those lazy swaps. Now, we all know that this is only a cherry on top, uh, but hey, there's been a million actors that have played the Joker. Um, could a black man do it? I'm sure. Um, and, and that isn't out of dismissed out of hand as bad. You just want the right person to play the role. And you could build the film around uh, Calvin Ellis and you know have its own lore and have its own universe as it does in the comic books it has to be full of authenticity I'm a fan of comic books you know I understand you know the fans being upset at oh why are they doing this and why are they changing that I would feel the same way about certain things so just know if I were ever to dabble in anything it would be the authentic and something that I feel people would really support Michael B. Jordan said of black uh, or said back in December 2019 uh, responding to questions from Oprah about playing Superman, Jordan said back in February 2019, it's tough. I hate being a business person and understanding both sides of the situation. There's obviously a huge upside to it, but being under that kind of microscope, being picked apart and compared to so many different versions of Superman, uh, I would rather do something original. I'll be Calvin Ellis. Like, that's actually, that's an awesome take from Michael B. Jordan. He clearly understands um Superman and that there's obvious, obvi uh, absolutely a spot for him to play Superman. There's lore that exists for that. Uh, but if you just like race swap them and say, here's your new Superman, it's going to not, it's not going to go over well. And, and people from what I can tell by and large, really uh, in, uh, respect Michael B. Jordan. And he knows that. Um, but the biggest problem here is the writer, the writer to he, to Nahisi Coates, uh, one of the biggest, uh, you know, purveyors of garbage opinions uh, ever. Um, you know, a writer who once called the first responders, quote, menaces of nature is set to speak. Um, he is a provocative journalist. This is, article is a little older from 2017, just to build some deep lore about this guy. Uh, he's a provocative journalist for The Atlantic, is scheduled to give a lecture at the New York School, and a host departed, you know, he says, 
Um, talks about that. I don't have any problem with the faculty at West Point bringing controversial speakers to expose different experiences to the cadets. Um, Coates' reputation as a divisive writer stems mostly from his writings on race. They were not human to me, Coates wrote in his book, Between the World and Me, about the emergency responders who rushed in to, uh, on the 11th of September, black, white, whatever. They were menaces of nature. They were fire, the comet, the storm, which could, with no justification, shatter my body. In the same book, Coates also referred to white America as a syndicate designed to dominate and control our bodies. We talk about enslavement as though it were a bump in the road. Coates said during a speech at Harvard, I tell people it is the road. I mean, this guy um, also demanded and wrote and received rewards for uh, demanding reparations. Um, you know, uh, would mean the reparations, Coates write, would mean the end of scarfing hot dogs on the 4th of July while denying the facts of our heritage. Um there's an article from Politico, The Toxic Worldview of Tanahisi Coates. This is all the way back from 2015. This guy has a well established, uh, just awful, awful view of the world. And, uh, you know, it's, it's exactly the kind of guy that you know they want writing this. White America is a syndicate arid to protect its exclusive power to dominate our control uh, and control our bodies. What is white America? Is it Nancy Pelosi or Ted Cruz? Is it Massachusetts or Utah? Is it supporters of affirmative action or opponents? Is it teachers who work in the inner city or gap-toothed yokels who chortle over racist jokes? This white America contains multitudes. Coates blames it for the passing of an acquaintance from Howard University, Prince Joan, of course, who uh, had his life ended by a black officer, but because he was from an affluent black majority area governed by blacks, this doesn't make it less awful, but suggests the picture is complicated, less quotes eloquent reductiveness suggests. His monstrous passage about um, the uh, September 11th is a good summation of where he's coming from. He writes of the police officers and firefighters who passed during running into the building in a forlorn effort to save people whose bodies were about to be obliterated into dust. Firefighters go about shattering the bodies of black people without justification. One doesn't read about, say, Anthony Rodriguez, 36, father of six, who whose last child was born days after he died, um, trying to save people who joined the Navy before becoming a firefighter, who coached youth basketball, and naturally think of the depredations of white America. Coates does, though. This isn't an act of moral discernment on his part, but a willful effacement of the individuality of Rodriguez and anyone Coates deems as part of the impersonal apparatus determined to dispossess blacks can't wait to see what he does with superman the whitest superhero in history i'm sure it'll be amazing can't can't thank uh this video sponsor private internet access enough if you haven't um make sure you get yourself a vpn they've got an incredible offer that's ending this month they're gonna have a new offer coming next month and it's not gonna be as good from what i see so Make sure you sign up today, get your computer protected. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.